Uh, we don't know if we're going to have a great recruit class until the recruits recruit what they're going to do. That's right. So that That's always right. that always amazes me how someone says they have this type of class and that type of class. And you can't just quantify high school players anymore because you got to have the uh, grad transfers. you got to add in the uh, the guys that's in a portal. You, you, there's no way to quantify who has the best class because barely anybody's taking kids from high school now. That's true. But you guys, I mean uh... – when you guys acquired Travis Hunter, that was amazing for your squad and amazing for your school. And my question is, what do you think this says about NCAA athletics and even uh, what it says about HBCU athletics with this kind well, of uh, class that you have coming in? Well, the NCAA need to, somebody need to go up there and check them because the rules are not balanced. So we can't do some of the things the Power Fives and PWIs can do. So we should have different guidelines and different rules. When someone like, uh, uh, who is it? Texas say they're going to pay each lineman 50 grand, you know, whoever signs the NIL, who you, we can't compete with that. You know? Right. We can't compete with that. Mm-hmm. And some of these guys, what they're getting just to sign, I know because I'm in, I'm in this, this line of work and it's, it's astronomical and you can't compete with those things. But a parent that sells a kid or a trainer that sells a kid to a college for financial purposes, is never going to work out like it's supposed to be. It's, it's never going to work out. 